In this video, we are going to solve second set of LRDI from CAT 2022 slot 3. So first of all, let's take the screenshot of the data and questions, solve this set by yourself and then come back to explanation video. Now uh, let's start solving this set everyone. All the first year students in the computer science department that is CS in a university take both the courses AI and ML. Students from other departments can also take one of these two courses but not both. Students who fail in a course get an EF grade. Others pass an awarded A or B or C grades depending on their performance. The following are some additional facts about the number of students who took these two courses and the grades obtained by them. So over here the two important things one is CS non CS in CS every student took both courses AI and ML. In non CS there is no student who took both courses. Non CS students can take one of these two courses but not both. If students fail CF grade if pass then A or B or C grade. After this, uh, there are few facts are given. First fact is the number of non-CS students who took AI and ML were in a ratio 2 is to 5. Then second is the number of non-CS students who took either AI or ML was equal to the number of CS students. So uh, there are total 8 facts are there. Over here are 2 facts are given over here as well. Uh, so what we need to do is after reading few of the statements you will come to know that we need to make a table over here. So let's make a table over here hold on. So the structure of table is going to be like this. The structure of table is going to be some like this hold on. So if you read these statements, the most clear statement, the most direct statement, you can see it's statement number six. So let's read statement number six. First of all, what is given over here? Let's have a look at it. In statement number six, it is given that the number of CS students who got just hold on. This is for CS and this is for non CS. Now let's have a look at statement number six first of all. The number of CS students who got A, B, and C grade respectively in AI are in a ratio 3 is to 5 is to 2. So let's take 3x, 5x, and 2x. And in ML, the ratio is 4 is to 5 is to 2, that is 4y, 5y, and 2y. So over here, we're done with statement number 6. After that, statement number 5 says that no CS student failed in AI. No CS student failed in AI means total number of CS students becomes how much? That is 10x. Then after that total number of CS students becomes 10x. So the total number of total of ML is also 10x. Because in CS, all the students took AI also and ML also. Fifth statement is no CS student failed in AI while no non CS student got grade A in AI. Under non CS, there is there are zero students who got grade A in AI. So over here we're done with statement number five. Statement number four says that in both of these courses, 50% students who passed got grade B. Okay, but while the number of students who got A and C grades were the same for AI, they were in a ratio 3 is to 2 for ML. Let's read this statement again after some time before we read another statements. 
Now, statement number 3, 2 and 1. Let's have a look at it. The number of non-CS students who took AI and ML in a ratio 2 is to 5. So, non-CS students in a ratio 2 is to 5 means if this is 2P, this is 5P. So, we're done with statement number 1 here. 6 done, 5 done. Second statement. The number of non-CS students who took either AI or ML was equal to the number of CS students. So from second statement what we can conclude is total number of CS students are 10x which is equal to the total number of non-CS students who took either AI or ML. It means this 10x is equal to 2p plus 5p. Because in non-CS a student cannot take both AI and ML. So total number of students in non-CS category is 2P plus 5P. That is equal to 7P. So 10X is equal to 7P over here. So we're done with second statement over here. Third statement says that the number of non-CS students who failed in the two courses were the same. Were the same and their total is equal to the number of CS students who got grade who got a C grade in ML. CS student hold on there are two more statements over here hold on but before that let's read statement number three again their total is equal to the number of CS students who got grade C in ML that is equal to 2y. So the number of non-CS students, number of non-CS students who failed in both the courses were same and their total is equal to 2y means over here it is going to be y and y. In non-CS the number of students who failed in AI are y and the number of students who failed in ML is y and their total is 2y which is equal to in CS grade C in ML course. So over here we're done with statement number three. Now only statement number four is remaining. Hold on. So I will delete first three statements. Let's have a look at it. Now the statement number four is remaining and there are two more statements. Let me copy those statements. Statement number eight says that 30 students failed in ML. 30 students are there who failed in ML. So over here Y students failed in ML. So over here 30 minus Y failed in ML. So we're done with statement number 8. So over here the equation becomes how much? Total of ML. Total of ML is how much? This is the equation number 1. Total of ML is equal to 4Y plus 5Y plus 2Y. This total is equal to 11Y plus 30 minus Y is equal to 10X. So from this we come to know that 10X minus 10Y is equal to 30. It means X minus Y is equal to 3. This is second equation. After this, after this statement number 7, statement number 7 says that the ratio of total number of non-CS students failing in one of the two courses that is equal to y plus y to y. This statement says that statement number 7, the ratio of total number of non-CS students failing in one of the two courses is y plus y. Two, the number of CS students failing in one of the two courses is 30 minus y. Total fail in CS is 0 plus 30 minus y that is equal to 30 minus y. Total fail in non-CS is y plus y that is 2y. This ratio is equal to 3 divided by 1. So over here we done with 7th statement. So now hold on. If we cross multiply over here what we will get? 2 times y is equal to 90 minus 3y. So the value of 5y is equal to 90, we will get the value of y is equal to 18. If value of y is equal to 18, we can find the value of other variables. Hold on. But before that, what I will do is, only statement number 4 is remaining. Let me delete other statements now. So over here, we got y is equal to 
18. So the value of x becomes how much? If y is equal to 18, x becomes 21. If x is equal to 21, put 21, put x is equal to 21 over here, the value of p will become 30. So likewise, we can find the value of the variable. So now, let me delete this calculation. Now this is of no any use. Let me delete this part. Now these equations are also not required as we got the values of x and y. So only statement number 4 is remaining now. Let's have a look at it. So over here, before we read statement number 4, let's put the values over here. We got x is equal to 21. So x is equal to 21, 21 into 3, 21 into 5, 21 into 2. This is equal to 210. This is 210, this is y is equal to 18. So this is 18 into 4, 18 into 5, 18 into 2. And then this is 30 minus 18 is 12. The y is equal to 18, so this is equal to 18 and this is 18. The value of p is equal to 30, 30 into 260, 30 into 5 is 150. So now let's read statement number 4. In both the courses, 50% of the students who pass got grade B. So look here, in both the courses. So let's talk about AI. Total pass is how much? Total pass is total 210 plus 60 students appeared for AI course. Out of that 18 fail. Out of that 18 fail means total pass this addition is equal to how much? 270 minus 18. That is equal to 252. Out of these 252, half of this 252 is 126. Half of this 252 is 126 they got grade B and out of this 126 105 got grade B in CS so the remaining is how much 21 will get grade B in non CS category in AI course now let's talk about the course ML in the course ML the total pass is how much let's have a look at it Total appeared is 210 plus 150. Out of that, this 12 and this 18 means 30 are fail. So this total pass becomes how much? The subtraction is going to be how much? 360 minus 30. That is equal to 330. Half of this is how much? 165. Will get grade B in ML. Out of this 165, 90 got grade B in CS category. So this subtraction is going to be how much? The subtraction is 75 is going to be non-CS category over here. Then over here which number will come? This is 60 minus 21 plus 18. This is equal to how much? 60 minus 39. The subtraction is equal to 21 will come over here. And the second part of fourth statement is while the number of students who got grade A and C were same for AI. Hold on. The number of students. So now let me delete this calculation. And then we are going to read the second part of fourth statement. Now this calculation is not required. The second part is while the number of students who got grade A and C were the same for AI. So AI, the total grade A is how much? 63 plus 0 that is 63. Total grade C is how much? 42 plus 21 in CS and in non-CS that is 63. This we already know. This is not required. 
now they are in a ratio 3 is to 2 in ml so let's have a look at it let's talk about ml over here let's take this number as p let's take this number as c and this number as d everyone so over here let's take this number will become how much if i take this number at c this will become how much 150 minus 75 plus 18 minus plus c so if we subtract this what we will get over here this is equal to 93 minus c 150 minus 93 is going to be 57 minus c so over here ml the total number of people who got grade a and grade c is how much ml is grade a it's 72 plus c grade c is 36 in cs 57 minus c in non cs this ratio is how much 3 divided by 2 so let's cross multiply what we will get let's have a look at it so 72 into 2 is 144 plus 2 c is equal to 36 plus 57 this addition is equal to how much 80 93 93 into 3 that is equal to 279 minus 3 c so the value of 5 c becomes how much this subtraction is going to be how much let's have a look at it this subtraction is 135 so the value of c is going to be 27 so this part is 27 so 57 minus 27 this will become how much 30 c is equal to 27 we got here so this is how we can complete this table now let's go to the questions now this calculation is not required let me copy this table and let's have a look at questions now question number six how many students took ai in cs category 210 in non cs category 60 so the addition is 270 is the answer of this question how many cs students failed in ml these 12 students who are failed in ml course from cs category how many non cs students got grade a in ml these are the 27 people who got grade a in ml from non cs category let's have a look at question number 9 and 10 question number nine how many students got grade a in ai ai grade a 63 plus 0 cs 63 non cs 0 so the answer is 63 question number 10 how many non cs students got grade b in ml non cs grade b ml the answer is 75 this is how we can solve this set 